Hey guys, Sean here with an update on Project Pico. It's been a little while since I recovered the um, aquarium. There was a crash about two weeks ago. Lost all the critters, got everything restarted, put some good water back in, got the ammonia down, and um, just wanted to give you guys an update. So, um, got finding Dory on in the background, and let's go ahead and see what's going on in Project Pico. So, I've got a couple new additions to the aquarium. I now have a Citron Clown Gobi. He's a beauty too. Nice markings. Really cool black markings on his tail. And he likes to swim. So he moves around the aquarium kind of, um, quite a bit. And I'm playing around with the rock just to do something a little bit more interesting. Um, I decided I was going to keep more rock in here uh, just for uh, better water stability. So I have brought in um, four or five hermit crabs. I've got four or five Nasarius snails or I'm sorry excuse me Astria snails not, not Nasarius. I haven't put any Nasarius snails in here yet. Since he's sitting still, let's go ahead and get a close up on him. Really cool fish. He's got the cool markings over his eyes. He likes to eat brine shrimp. Fed him some earlier today. And he's just hanging out on the glass, chilling, having a good time. Uh, so one of the upgrades I did um, was I added in, I, I took out the um, 90 GPH pump. It was a Rio 90, actually it was an 84 GPH. And I actually put in the uh, high door um, Evo Pico pump, which is 180 GPH. I took that from Project Natural since I uh, changed to a different filtration system. So, um, got more water flow in here. And I do have the um, Cobalt 25 watt Neotherm um, heating this aquarium now instead of the uh, Aquion 15 watt, which overheated it the last time. So um, we're holding here at a steady 77.3. Uh, there are a couple other residents in the aquarium. Um, I couldn't live without my sexy shrimp, so I got another pair. These two are very close in size. They're on the bigger side in comparison to what I had last time. Love these sexy shrimp. And um, the Citron Gobi is swimming around a little bit now, so let's check him out. I do not have a name for him yet. But he's really cool. He's a lot more active than the yellow clown goby I had, Pac Man. A lot more active. Likes to move around the aquarium, likes to look at me. It's not very shy um, when compared to the 
yellow con goby that used to be in here. My phone keeps overheating, so I'm going to go ahead and go over the water parameters for this edition. So, um, pH is sitting at about 8.0 ammonia is zero nitrite is zero and nitrate is about I'd say 10 5 to 10 ppm very low on the nitrate so water is looking healthy again And with the cobalt neotherm heat in this, I feel confident that um, the tank will be more stable and I won't have to worry about any disasters like uh, what I experienced a couple weeks ago. And I'll be more vigilant to keep the heat turned off whenever I'm going out of town or if there's a uh, warmer weather expected. He likes to hang out on the front of the glass, it's really cool. If you can get one of these over a clown goby, I highly recommend it. Awesome, awesome fish. So that's it. Thank you for watching my video. And uh, <clears throat> please subscribe.